you're asking who's the GOAT? Uh, yes! <clears throat> All right, class. Yes. yes. Oh, that was weak. Let's All try this again. It was like, I'm trying to process what you said. Oh, okay, let's try this again. Okay, so, the, okay, when I say class, you say yes. Oh, no, 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 class. class. Yes. yes. Thank you. All right. Who's what? Like, like the GOAT and what he say? And who's the get? Who's the GOAT? He says Deku. Ew. Yeah. Ew. Gone. No. Gone. Main man's acting this pops up and he just starts crying. All right. Anyway, <laughs> let's pretend like we're paying attention here. Let's pretend like we're paying attention here. So, step one. What is that? Come on, bro. Step one. <laughs> <laughs> Someone back up a little bit. What would be the step one to these? Amplitude. Amplitude, thank you. What's the amplitude here? One half. Okay, so we're going to back up a little bit. Uh, actually, no, let's do period first. Period. So, period for tangent and cotangent is? Uh, I would Pi over b, very good. So pi over b. So pi and my b value is two. two. And so let's back up a little bit. So this next part, we're going to do start and end. Now you hear it, right? Mm -hmm. OK, I'm looking at example two. Start divided by b. End divided by b. But tangent has a different start and end than cotangent. So let's, here it is, right here. So cotangent has a start at 0 and an end at pi. A start at 0 and an end at pi. So we're going to do that next. So. Start divided by b, end divided by b. That's really distracting. What is? All right, so start. My start is 0 divided by b, which is 2, which is going to give me 0. The end, pi divided by b, is pi over 2. Okay so far? Good. <clears throat> Insert page. So let's take a look. Here's my graph. I'm at zero and then I'm at pi. Over wait, pi over two, right? Pi over two. So my start and my end. Yes. Huh? He called you to his office because you don't need this class no more, right? So you're going to leave my class and notes that you need for this test. Otherwise, huh? Okay, get out. Get. You know, your coach needs to go into like like proper channels instead of text messaging. Setting notes and all that. Man, some people. That's why we can't have nice things here. Anyway, all right, so I go period. What? Yeah, me too. Yeah, Yeah, tell Hobie we're going to have some words. I got my text right here. Okay. <laughs> all right, so period divided by four. And this is how I'm actually going to do this. So these are my steps. Period divided by 4. So the period on this one was, say, pi over 2. Good. So it's pi over 2 divided by 4. And since this is fraction over fraction, I'm going to turn that 4 into 4 over 1, right? So that's going to be pi over 2 times 
reciprocal, which is 1 over 4. So each step is 5 over 8. That's some outside. Skid them. <laughs> Dude, seriously? No one's out there. Like, you know what I'm uh, anyway, so each step is how much? Uh, Pi over 8. So each step. Each step is pi over 8. So I'm going to go with my start right here, which at my start, what's that special thing I have at the start? Sounds like a bas bad word, too. Kiss my asymptote. asymptote. There we go. So we have asymptote right here at the start. We have an asymptote right here at the end. So each step is going to be pi over 8, right? So starting at 0, I'm going over pi over 8, which is going to give me pi over 8. Now the next step is another pi over 8, right? Isn't that 2 pi over 8? That's pi over 4. Pi over 4. 2 pi over 8 is going to give me pi over 4. Add another pi over 8. So this is 1 pi over 8, 2 pi over 8. This next one is 3 pi over 8. 3 pi over 8. And if I do the next one, it would be 4 pi over 8, right? That's pi over 2. That's my pi over 2. Very good. So all my parts are equal right here. And now we're going to have to start plugging stuff in. Now we get to the plugging in. So we know the start and the end are asymptotes. So let's go 1 half cotangent of 2 times pi over 8. And if you're really struggling with the math, make sure your calculator is in radian. Just plug all this in your scratch pad. So 1 half cotangent 2 times pi over 8. If you do this correctly, you should get, you know, nice clean numbers, like whatever my amplitude is, either 0 or my amplitude. So 2 times pi over 8 is pi over 4. Cotangent at pi over 4 is going to be 1, because cotangent is x over y. That's going to be 1 times 1 half is a positive 1 half. The next one's going to be 1 half cotangent of 2 times pi over 4. Cotangent at pi over 2, because 2 pi over 4 is pi over 2. That's straight up on my unit circle. And so cotangent is x over y. The x value is 0, y bar value is 1. So 0 divided by 1 is 0 times 1 half is 0. My last one is 1 half cotangent 2 times 3 pi over 4. Oh, I'm sorry, over 8. So that's going to be at 3 pi over 4. 3 pi over 4 is in quadrant 2. That is going to be my x value is negative, my y value is positive, and they're the same values. So negative positive is going to give me a negative 1 times the 1 half is negative 1 half. go.
hopefully you guys aren't finding this stuff too crazy. Step by step, hopefully you guys are finding this easier. Yeah. Yes, hopefully. Questions, concerns, complaints? Conspiracy theories. Huh? We've gone over this one like five times. That one already happened. We already know that. That's not a conspiracy. We already know that. Okay. So even if she did it, she was a horrible person and killed himself to get rid of her. Who was? Huh? Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain. Uh, Kurt Cobain, lean singer of Nirvana. Yes. Um, how do you know where the asymptote start? That's the start and end. So okay. cotangent is yes. your, yeah, that's where we start off at. And so I, I start with asymptotes and just move everything from there. Okay. Hey, look, looks a whole lot like mine. <laughs> All right. If you want to do this one, what do you think is going to happen different with this one? Okay, but we already did some tangents. What's different about this one? Vertical shift. There we go. It's a vertical shift. Yeah. So, see that two plus yeah. tangent? Yeah. That means everything is moving up two. <laughs> so, the whole thing. So I'm not going to do everything here, but if I look at my graph, so this one's going to look like this. It's going to go up and down like that, but the whole thing is moving up too. Does that make sense? So that's the difference in between what we have been doing. This is the one I wanted to get to. So this one here has a phase shift. So it has a phase shift. So we're going to go ahead and add this into what we have been doing. So step one, amplitude. What is my amplitude? Negative, negative one. There's a minus sign in front of the cotangent, so that makes it a negative one. Oh. <clears throat> Two is period. What's a period going to be? Uh, pi. Yep, very good. It's just pi. Because it's pi over b, right? Yeah. And the b value right here is 1. It's implied that it's 1 there. If there's no number there, it's 1. So a period is just going to be pi over 1, which is pi. All right, so the next thing is going to be start and end. Start plus phase shift. So the start on this one, cotangent, my start starts at where? We just did a cotangent problem. It starts at zero. It starts at zero. Cotangent starts at zero. So if it starts at zero, right, it's always start divided by b. So that's going to be zero over, one. zero over one, which is zero, plus my phase shift. The phase shift here, what's the phase shift going to be? Uh, positive pi over four. Very good. Positive pi over four. Remember, it's opposite of this sign. So that's going to be a positive pi over four. So that means everything is moving to the right, pi over 4. End plus phase shift. So the end is supposed to be where? For cotangent, the end is where? It's at pi. 
So it's at pi. This starts at zero and the end is at pi. Every single time, tangent, cotangent, they have set, start, and end. That's why we can go back to the notes. Tangent has a start at negative pi over 2 and an end at positive pi over 2. Cotangent has a start at 0 and an end at pi. And using phase shift, we're going to move those. We're going to move those. Because just like King Julian, we like to move it, move it. So end is going to be at pi. Right? So it's n divided by b. And my b value is 1 here. So plus phase shift is pi over 4. And some mental math here. If this is a whole one, right? Pi is a whole one. And I have to have a common denominator of 4. Can I just think about this as 4 pi over 4? That's still one, isn't it? Yeah. But that's going to make my life a whole lot easier when I add those together. So I have four pi plus pi. How many pi's do I get? Five pi. Five pi over four. There we go. There we go. So I have my start, my end, uh, my phase shift. I got everything I need. So here's zero. My start was pi over four. My end was five pi over four. And we gotta try and figure out my steps, right? We gotta figure out the steps. So it's gonna be period divided by four. So the period on this one was, what was the period? Pi. pi, very good, it is pi, divided by four. So each step is gonna be pi over four. Is that making sense or nonsense? Angel, you falling asleep on me? Need some coffee? It's hot. All right, so each step is going to be pi over 4. So let's go ahead. So this next one's going to be... What's pi over 4 plus pi over 4? I know no one's playing with their fingernails because they're doing some mental math right now. Pi over 4 plus pi over 4. 2 pi over 4, right? 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. Add another pi over 4. So 2 pi over 4 plus pi over 4 is going to give me 3 pi over 4. And again, I'm going to add another pi over 4. So that's going to be 4 pi over 4. 4 pi over 4. But what is 4 pi over 4? 1. 1. 1 pi. And so my start and end are always going to be that bad word. Kiss my asymptote, right? What's my amplitude here? Negative one, right? Yeah. And do I have another value here? Let's go back. This one right here. What do you, what was this thing? What was that thing right there? We, we just did one with a positive two and it moved the whole thing up, right? That's a vertical shift. But since it's negative, it's going to move the whole thing down. 
So if you notice, I'm not doing very much with it, but I'm gonna start plugging those in now. So it's gonna be negative two minus cotangent of my pi over two. minus pi over 4. So pi over 2 minus pi over 4. So that's 2 pi over 4. Minus pi over 4 is a positive pi over 4, right? Positive pi over 4 is in quadrant 1. So cotangent is x over y at pi over 4. That's going to give me 1 times negative. So that's a negative 1, right? Negative 1. So I have negative 2 minus 1, which gives me negative 2 minus 1. Can someone say negative 3? Yeah. Yes, negative 3. So if you plugged everything in the calculator as is, you should still get negative 3, as long as your calculator is in radian. Are you guys getting this? or, or uh, Just so you know, I'm making it up as I go. So I don't, I'm guessing at all this stuff. So I need you guys to actually like, you know, confer with me that I'm getting the right answer. Danny? Did I get the right answer there? Uh, yeah. Good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who the hell is this? Abigail and Abraham's not here. <coughs> uh, okay. Are you guys agreeing with me or am I am I just like talking madness here? I agree. You agree? Huh. Are we okay? Are you actually plugging this in the calculator to make sure that we're getting this right? If you use your scratch pattern in the calculator, you could actually do this whole part right here, the whole plug-in part. Next one, negative two minus cotangent of 3 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. That's going to give me uh, pi over 2. I'm sorry, 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. Cotangent of pi over 2 is 0. So negative 2 minus 0 is going to be negative 2. So, 3 uh, pi minus th pi over 4 is 3 pi over 4. Cotangent at 3 pi over 4 is negative 1. And so I have negative 2 minus negative 1. So that becomes plus. So that gives me a negative 1, which is right here. So my cotangent is going to look like this. Yes, no, maybe? Yeah. Yes. So if we put the first one, for example, negative 2 cot in the box. You see that right there? Put a minus sign instead. No, that's a negative sign. See how it says times like that? That means that we'll say. Anyone else? Questions, concerns, complaints? Are we good? Hopefully. Alrighty. So hopefully your graph looks as amazing as mine does. 
And we are not going to do 6 because I'm skipping 6 because you can do this all just plugging in a calculator if you're trying to match. Alright, and like, make sure you guys all like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification button, and support my channel. Use promo code EARLYBIRD, 10% off.